Doctor, you all seem really tired. Oh. <laughs> yes, we've had a busy day at the zoo today. Oh, does that mean no story tonight? Wouldn't you rather have a nap, Lucy? What's going on? <laughs> it was just a joke. Well, we don't think your joke was very funny, Lucy. I thought it was scary, actually. And I hurt my bottom. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to wake you up. I was bored. <laughs> that reminds me of the story of the Great Rains. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> a story? I'd love to hear it, Nelson. Well, if you're not too tired, that is. We're really tired. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, giggles and tickles are only saying that because this story is about something silly they did. <laughs> I think I'm going to like this. Once a year, there is a very heavy rain in Africa which floods the entire savanna. The only place that doesn't get flooded is the Blue Mountain. One year, we were getting ready to spend a long time on top of the mountain. There! That should be enough food. I'm not looking forward to being stuck on top of this mountain. When the rain comes, it's so boring. None of us like the great rains, so we try to have as much fun as possible while it's still dry. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you forgotten? It's your turn this year. Uh, yes, we, we know, we know. Every year, we take it in turns to watch out for the first drop of the great rains. And this particular year, it was the monkey's turn. <laughs> Dark cloud yet tickles. Phew, no. <laughs> this is so boring. Why can't we have fun like the others? <laughs> I've just had a brilliant idea. What is it? Tell me. Giggles and Tickles must have got it wrong. <laughs> Oops, sorry. It must have been a drop of nectar from a flower that fell on our heads. <laughs> Maybe you should pick all those flowers. Strange. Um, hmm. 
These aren't raindrops. It's it's fruit juice. Those monkeys have played another joke on us. Oh. 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 Now, don't move from that tree. Georgina, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> So Georgina the giraffe took the monkey's place on top of the tall tree. It wasn't that funny after all. We're even more bored now. Oh! oh. Already. Pass me the ball, Herbert. But this time it's really real. Listen, giggles and tickles. We've had enough of your tricks. Georgina is the new watcher, and she's the one who tells us. Well, what's she waiting for then? Georgina? Georgina! <laughs> what? Yes! Have you felt the first drop of the great rains? Uh, no! No, nothing to report! Thank you, Georgina! What? This isn't right. Georgina, look! The cloud! <laughs> what? Rain! Oh, the rain! Oh. Oh, quick! Everybody to the Blue Mountain! But it was too late. The water had already started to rise. Oh no! Hey, I've got an idea and this time it's a good one! left to build a boat for Giggles and Tickles. <laughs> Is everybody safe? Yes! No! We're missing Giggles and Tickles! Poor Giggles and Tickles. We felt sorry for them. At least we've got something to eat. Are you coming? Toby! Oh, let's go! <laughs> and in the end, it was the happiest great rains we'd ever had. And since that day, Giggles and Tickles never play any more silly jokes. Sorry, Nelson. I won't do it again either. <laughs> Thanks for the story. Good night, everyone. Good night, Lucy. Lucy. Hi Molly, they're for tap dancing. Watch this. How do you do that? It looks tricky. You need special shoes. And you have to be a really good dancer. Can I try? Oh, hello Adam. Of course you can. Adam, I'll teach you some steps. I'm much better at the armadillo roll. 
Armadillo roll? It's a dance we do at carnival time in South America. Hey, why don't I tell you all about it? It was carnival time in South America. Everyone was getting ready. Leopoldo was practicing the Llama Lambada. Tallulah was working on her toucan tango. As for me, I was perfecting my world famous armadillo roll. Oh, oops. Hey. Oh, sorry, Jazz. We're practicing for the carnival. What dance are you doing? Dance? Me? You can do the armadillo roll with me if you like. Ha! Don't be silly. I only dance the best dancers. Like the lambada or the tango? Nah, much better than that. I only dance the jaguar jive. What's that? Oh, show us! Uh, no. I can't dance the jaguar jive just anywhere. You need atmosphere, lights, a sense of occasion. Besides, I don't want to show you all up. Wow! He must be really good. I'd love to see him dance. Jazz is very proud. He won't dance for us if we don't show him he's special. Then let's make him feel special. Jazz can be this year's Carnival King. Yeah! So, off I went to tell Jazz the good news. Jazz! This is for you, Jazz. We've elected you Carnival King. Carnival King? Me? And we want you to dance the Jaguar Jive. <laughs> Jaguar Jive, yeah. What? Did you say dance? Yes, in front of everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Out of the question. But you said you're really good. Everyone wants to see you dance. That. Naturally, I, I would love to. No, oh, that's great. But uh, I don't have the right shoes. Shoes? Who well, that's the Jaguar Jive. I must have shoes made from uh, Zapato sleeves. But isn't the Zapatos plant very rare? Yes. Sorry. No shoes, no Jaguar Jive. Oh, bye. Whew. Me and my big mouth. Carnival King? What a joke. I don't know how to dance the jive, but the others must never find out. Good thing it's impossible to find his Zapatos plant. Jazz, look what I've got! Zapatos leaf shoes! Now you can dance the Jaguar jive! <gasps> what am I going to do? Think, Jazz, think. Do you like them? Ah, uh, beautiful, beautiful. It's a pity you went to so much trouble. What do you mean? Uh, my jacket got eaten by ants. Can't do the jive without the right jacket. <laughs> no, no one would mind. I mind. Tell everyone. No jaguar jive, okay? I wondered how I was going to tell the others. No jacket? Okay, leave it up to me. Hey, presto! But as I was on my way to give Jazz his new jacket... And one, two, uh, uh, one, two, three! Oh, oh, oh. If only I'd kept my big mouth shut. Why did I boast about my dancing? I'll never learn the jive in time for the carnival. And then everyone will laugh at me. <laughs> he didn't like it. No, it's not that. He doesn't know how to dance the jive! Jazz can't dance the jive you jive! But we can teach him! This is what we're going to do. Let's focus
my delicious cake. Did you say cake? Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh. It's easy. Just hop across the water. as well no I made it all up I don't know how to dance the jive oh yes you do no I don't yes you do we just taught you just put your moves together jazz moves what moves do the fly swap Stepping stone hop. And the armadillo nod. I've got it. I've got it. He's got it. I'm dancing. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I'll never boast again. I promise. You think this is good? You should see my salsa special! Oh, Jazz! Sorry. Jazz, the Carnival King! Ha <laughs> ha! That year, the Carnival dance went on all night long. Woo-hoo! <laughs> and we can dance all night long, too! <laughs> tomorrow, Lucy. Better get some sleep. I suppose you're right. Bye, Adam. Bye, Lucy. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. I was just eating some mm, blackberries. They're very juicy. Mm. Here, would you like one? Thanks, Nelson. Mm. Quite nice, but I like strawberries better. My favourite berries are gooseberries. And ours are raspberries. And my favourite berries are bumbleberries. Bumbleberries? Yes. Bumbleberries are the yummiest berries in Africa. They're terrific in pies and crumbles, and they make the best soup, of course. Georgina, are you making this up? Oh, no, Lucy. Georgina's telling the truth. She did make bumbleberry soup once. In that case, you better tell me the story, Molly. One morning, Georgina the giraffe got up especially early. It's Bumbleberry Day! It's Bumbleberry Day! It's Bumbleberry Day! Hey, hey, today, today, it's Bumbleberry Day! Good morning, Georgina! Hello, everyone, and happy Bumbleberry Day! You sound happy, Georgina. Yes, Toby. I am happy because today is a very special day. It's Bumbleberry Day and I'm going to make Bumbleberry Soup. I'm just off to pick the Bumbleberries now. Can we come too? I'll carry the basket. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll pick the bumbleberries. And I'll eat the bumbleberries. I mean, I'll help Kevin to pick the bumbleberries. Come on then, everyone. Follow me. Everyone ready? Yes. yes. Is that enough berries for you, Georgina? That's plenty, Toby. Now, I'm going to show you how to make bumbleberry soup from a special recipe my grandmother taught me. First, we sort the bumbleberries. Then, we sieve them and stir them. Mmm. I'm getting jungle with a hint of lotus flower. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> now, the soup needs to be whisked until it's pink and fluffy. But oh, oh, where's my whisk? Hmm, I'll have to go and look for it. Doris, will you stir the soup for me? The soup? Moi. There, I'll be back in a minute. Sweet enough. Fetch me some honey, Toby. Perfect. Now just a little squeeze. Oh. Now, where did I leave my whisk? Nice and spicy. No, it's still not right. Chuck in some bananas, Kevin. Not like that, Kevin. You're supposed to peel them first. Oh, well. Where, oh, where could it be? Oh! Georgina tried to reach the twig that looked like a whisk, but she couldn't stretch far enough. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the jungle clearing... Oh, do I smell food, perchance? Georgina's making a special soup. Um, she's asked Doris to look after it for her. Mmm, soup. Yummy. <laughs> You'll never believe this, but um, mm, I just happen to have with me the ingredient to make the finest soup in Africa. You, you have? have? Yes. A lovely muddy potato. <gasps> oh, well. Right now, let's give this soup a nice big stir. Georgina was still trying to reach the twig that looked like a whisk. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. But Georgina the giraffe didn't give up easily. Back in the jungle clearing, more and more animals started to arrive to find out what was cooking. Just a little something I've been saving for that special occasion. Georgina still couldn't reach the twig that looked like a whisk. Ooh. Has anyone got anything else? We have. And when the Tick Tick Bird put the final ingredient into the soup, it bubbled and rumbled until. Uh -oh. <laughs> Georgina finally managed to grab the twig. Have you come?
come to try my special soup? Hi, Georgina. Um, I think the soup's all right. I just stirred it, just like you said. My soup! My beautiful bumbleberry soup! What have you done to it? Uh, uh, we've added a few things, you see. We wanted to make the soup even better. But bumbleberry soup is made with bumbleberries only, nothing else. It's a special recipe. It's ruined. And I've just used up all the bumbleberries. Oh! Anna, why don't we make Georgina a special treat? Doris thought of a plan to cheer Georgina up. <laughs> We've come to say sorry about the soup. We thought you might like these. Mogo chips. We cooked them ourselves. Oh, oh, that's so kind of you all. Thanks. I'll just try one. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite nice. I'll try another one if I may. Mmm. Ooh, delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Story, Molly. Mm, mm, funny and yummy too. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you all looking at me for? Nothing, Nelson. Good night. Good night, Lucy. Sweet, Sweet dreams. dreams. So who's going to tell me a story tonight? Oh, um, we haven't got round to deciding yet. Uh... In that case, I'll decide who tells me a story. Oh. First, I need someone to tie this blindfold for me. <gasps> now someone has to spin me round and round. Wow, I'm feeling dizzy! Now... Let's see. Who will tell me a story? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> this is a strange animal. That's not an animal. It's a tree! <laughs> <laughs> Silly me. Maybe if I walk this way. Oh, 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 that tickles. <laughs> Nelson. It's you! You have to tell me a story. Oh, I, I'm not sure I have a story ready. Um, let me think. Why not tell Lucy about the time when you became a dad? Nelson! A dad? Well, not exactly. I, listen, and I'll tell you the story of Audrey's Egg. A warm breeze was blowing across the African savannah. Gradually, the breeze grew stronger until it became a wind. The wind blew harder and harder and harder still. It was now a very, very windy day. Oh dear, oh dear. The wind is blowing away my nest. And without a nest, my poor little egg will be too cold to hatch. Hey, groovy happies now. Oh dear, oh dear. I need to get some more twigs for the nest. But I can't leave my egg. What to do? What to do? What I really need is someone to look after it for a little while. Ah, perfect. Excuse me, Natalie. Oh, hello, Audrey. How are you? Here's a new egg. Uh, a 
Actually, I need to ask a bit of a favour. OK, ask away. Uh, my nest has been blown away in the wind. I have to collect some twigs and branches to build a new one. But meanwhile, I need someone to exit for me. Exit? Yes. Look after the egg until I get back. It'll be no bother. All you have to do is to keep it warm. All right, then. You are kind. Bye. Keep it warm, eh? Natalie found sitting on the egg quite difficult. Oh! I don't think we antelopes are cut out for this sort of thing. Can't just leave Audrey's egg, though. Perhaps if I found someone to take my place. Hmm. Whoops! Oh. Sorry, Nelson. I didn't see you there. Yes, we elephants are masters of disguise. Hmm. Can I help? Probably. Fancy a spot of egg sitting. Now what is it those birds do? I tried to sit on the egg, but I was worried I might break it. I needed to find a smaller animal to egg sit. Wait here, little egg, while Nelson goes for help. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Tick Tick Bird. Hello. Hello. I need a favour, Ronald. I wonder if I could borrow your tick-tick bird for a while. Well, I suppose so. Uh, but only if you bring him straight back when you're finished. It won't take long, I promise. This is an egg, and you're a bird. Need I say more? Sit on the egg and keep it warm. I'll be back as soon as I've had my bath and a little bite to eat. The Tick Tick Bird tried to sit on the egg, but he was too small to cover it completely. So he decided to look for an egg sitter that wasn't as big as an elephant, but was larger than a Tick Tick Bird. Something just in between. Hey, Tiki, what's up? Yeah, where's Ronald? Don't say he's giving you the day off. spot of exiting as a favour for a friend. Exiting? Huh, sounds like fun. Yeah, we'd be good at that. Really? The best. The Tick Tick Bird hopped quickly off before giggles and tickles could change their minds. Thanks a lot. Just be sure to keep the egg warm. Bye! Here, catch! Hey, huh, I've never juggled with four before. with that game. Me too. Let's go down to the waterhole. It was now that time of day when all the animals would gather for a drink and a cooling dip. Hello, Nelson. Um, where is it? Where's what? The egg. The egg, of course. Oh, don't panic. I left it with the Tick Tick Bird. <laughs> Where's the egg? Don't worry. I left it with Giggles and Tickles. They know what they're doing. Oh. Excuse me, guys. Where did you leave the egg? What egg? The one I left you in charge of. Oh, that egg. The egg sitters were now very worried. Why didn't anyone ask me to exit, I wonder? Uh-oh. Give it back! Yeah! Give us back the egg! What? What egg? I haven't touched any egg. Well, you've certainly eaten something recently. Yeah, what's with the bulge? That? Oh, it's, uh... Don't believe him. Give it back. That's not an egg. It's a watermelon. That was my tea. Whoops. We really are most sorry. We were worried about the egg, you see. We'd promised to look after it for a friend. Oh. 
Is that your egg over there? Just then, Audrey arrived back. My, my, my! What's this? What a wonderful job you've all done! I only expected you to look after the egg, but you've even managed to hatch it! You're just as beautiful as I knew you would be! What marvellous exiters you make! <coughs> <coughs> Who's a beautiful Osty Wasty Wigden? I'm its dad. And I'm its mum. No, I'm its mum. I looked after it first. Don't worry, you can all be parents. Look, I've laid some more eggs. I'll be needing lots more help to look after them. Yes! <laughs> glad I chose you, Nelson. That was a lovely mm. story. What happened to Audrey's eggs? Oh, no problems there. They all hatched and grew up into fine young ostriches. Well, what would you expect with such good egg sitters? And a dad like Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough baby talk for one night, I think. Ready for bed, Lucy? OK. Good night. Good night, Lucy. The story of Giggles and Tickles. Lucy's late. Where is she? Hmm. She should have been here three minutes ago. I can't understand it. Shh. Here she comes now. Uh. What, what the? Uh. Hmm. Hello, Lucy. Hello. <sighs> She's sleepwalking. Careful, Lucy. Oh. <sighs> <gasps> Ouch! Bloody only handle We mustn't wake Lucy up. Look out! <gasps> I was only pretending to be sleepwalking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, that's not fair. Lucy's not allowed to play tricks on us. We're the ones who make all the jokes here. That's how we got our names. Giggles. <laughs> and Tickles. <laughs> when we lived in the jungle, we played tricks on all the animals. Listen. One day, we wanted to play a trick on Victor the Crocodile. Psst. Victor? Psst. What's a handsome croc like you doing alone in the river? Did you know that a beautiful crocodilla moved into the mudflats the other day? Hey. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Victor. Hey, has anybody ever told you you have beautiful eyes? Come on, don't be shy now. You want to get to know Victor better, don't you? Oops, it's just a bit of wood. <laughs> was Audrey the ostrich. Audrey was very proud of her big white eggs. She'd spent all day waiting for them to hatch. Hello, Audrey. How's things? Fine, fine. Another hour or so and these two will have hatched. Look, Audrey, you've laid a hairy egg. Oh! So I have. 
Audrey was so proud of her new egg, she tried to hatch it. But every time she sat down, it tickled so much, she had to stand up again. Just a coconut. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Each day we played bigger and better jokes on our friends. Until one day... What are you doing? There's a surprise on the other side of the rock. We're waiting to see it. Can I wait with you? Of course you can! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm waiting for a surprise on the other side of the rock. Can I wait with you? Of course you can. What are you doing? I'm waiting for a surprise on the other side of the rock. Can I wait with you? Of course you can. Soon there was a queue of animals all the way around the rock. I'm waiting for the surprise behind the rock. Mm hmm? So am I. So, so are we! <laughs> Where's the surprise then? We've been waiting around this rock for hours. The surprise is. We've been playing a trick on you! <laughs> <laughs> The animals had had enough of our tricks, so they thought of a plan. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at what? At you, of course. <laughs> We've not done anything funny yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about that? Can't you see? No. Oh dear. You must have lost your laugh. No way. We'd better go and find it. So. We went to look for our laugh. Zed, we've lost our laugh. Have you seen it? Laugh? I've seen no laugh. How about you, Toby? Me? I haven't seen anything. <laughs> Audrey. We've lost our laugh. Have you seen it? Your laugh? Hmm. No, it's not in my nest. Just an old coconut. That's all. <laughs> Victor. Victor. You must help us. Have you seen our laugh? We've lost it. Your laugh? No, it's not in the river. I've only seen an old log today. Oh. <laughs> Maybe our laugh is behind this rock. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> this gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's not funny at all. <laughs> 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 hey, we've got our laugh back. You're right. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Silly monkeys, you never lost your laugh. We've been playing a trick on you for a change. But why was Harry laughing so much? Because he's a laughing hyena. <laughs> Laughing is my job. What kind of laugh would you like? <laughs> mm, a chuckle. <laughs> a chortle. 
<laughs> you can all join in on this one. The belly laugh. <laughs> They've all gone to sleep. Shh. We mustn't wake them. Ha <laughs> ha. Fooled you. We were only pretending. It was another joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime, Lucy. Good night, Lucy. Sweet dreams. Hi, everyone. Oh, good evening, Mom, and welcome. How can we help you? I've come for my bedtime story. Excellent. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Can we tempt you to a shiny green apple? Oh, thanks. Or a yellow banana? I don't understand. You don't understand what, milady? I don't understand why we're all having to be so polite. We're practising our good manners. Ready for tonight's story. My lords, ladies, animals, birds and insects, please be seated for the story of Doris, Princess of the Zambam River, told by Molly the Hippopotamus. Ahem. <coughs> Shh. Doris the duck, Toby the tortoise, and Kevin the crocodile were best friends. They did everything together. Each morning, they would meet on the banks of the Zambam River and splash in the mud pool. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What shall we do now? Let's play Silly Faces. Oh, I can do better than that. Your turn, Toby. <laughs> Doris, Toby and Kevin enjoyed playing games together. Was fun. What shall we do now? Let's pretend to be someone else. I'll be a pirate looking for treasure. Where's Kevin? I'm over here. I'm a top secret spy. Who are you going to be, Doris? Doris? I'm a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Doris, a princess. <laughs> I am Doris, princess of the Bam Bam River. Kevin, you can collect some pretty lotus flowers for me. <laughs> what? I'm a princess, and you've got to do everything I say. But yes, uh, yes, your royal duckness. And you, Toby, you can fetch me some nice things to eat. Some grapes and a great big pile of yum yum fruit. Certainly, your royal duckness. I've had enough. Me too. Let's play hide and seek. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Yes, Doris. Then please address me as your royal duckness from now on. Can we stop playing this game now? Your royal duckness? Game? What game? I 
am a duck princess. I am, I am. But? No bats. Go and get me some more pretty things. Toby and Kevin hadn't gone far when they saw Audrey the ostrich. Hello, boys. My, my, you are looking tired. We've been playing Let's Pretend and Doris has decided she's a princess. She's treating us like servants and we don't know how to stop the game. Hmm, now let me see. A princess, eh? Now, listen carefully. I think... Toby and Kevin got to work. Good afternoon, your duckness. Before you say anything more, I'm still a princess We and... know. You do? Yes, your royal duckness. And to prove it, we've made a crown for your royal head. And a throne for your royal bottom. You have? Oh, where are they? Let's go and see them. Let's go now. You're a princess. You can't walk there. Please allow me to give you a ride on my back. Oh, thank you, Toby, my loyal servant. Wow! For the rest of the day, Doris was treated like a true princess. Morning, Your Majesty. I've brought you a ladder so that you can climb onto your throne. A morning, your ducksomeness. I bring you warthog treasure. Oh, thank you, my loyal Herbert. I'll eat it later. Your Majesty, we bring you palm leaf fans to keep you cool. But after a while, being a princess got boring. Toby taught us. Yes, your duckness. Bring me a double twig burger with tomato relish and a triple helping of mogo chips. Sorry, your royal duckness, but you can't have any. What? A Zambam princess must only eat the finest of food. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, the yum-yum fruit. Then Kevin and Toby decided to play a game of silly faces. Here's a good one. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> Here, guys. <laughs> Oh, sorry, your duckness. You are not allowed to join in. Being a princess is a serious matter. Oh, yes, of course. Does your majesty require anything else? Uh, no, thank you. In that case, Toby and I will go for a wallow in the mud pool. Can I come? Oh, sorry, your royal duckness. Wallowing in the mud is not something princesses do. Doris could stand it no longer. She loved splashing in the mud pool. I'm not a princess anymore. I'm just plain old Doris the duck who wants to play with her friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for that. So, what are we waiting for? <laughs> that was wicked. I mean, how splendid. My lords, ladies, animals, birds and insects, on behalf of the animals gathered here tonight, I'd like to thank Molly for the story and Lucy for listening so attentively. And on behalf of myself and all the other animals, I would like to thank Boris for saying thank you. Yay! 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 Yay!
And now it's bedtime, Lady Lucy. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night.